Oh, I entered the password 1234 and the motor started. Let's see what components we need to build it. First, we have the password module. And second is the relay module. Third, we need a stable power supply to provide five volts. We'll also need a breadboard to connect the Arduino and other components. And we have an Arduino Nano. I made a power supply by connecting two cells in series. We'll need some wires too on the supply. I've connected B plus and B minus, which I'll connect to the battery. Let's connect the password module. I'll need eight wires for that. All right, let's place the Arduino on the breadboard and then connect the wires as needed. Here's how I'll make the connections. Next, I'll show you how to connect the relay module. Follow along with the connections I'm demonstrating. We'll need a higher voltage source to power the relay. All the modules are moving around, so I'm securing them with some double-sided tape. I'm taking the VN and V out lines for a stable 5 volt supply. If that's not available, I've set up a stable 7 volt and connected it to the Arduino. Here's our buzzer. The positive terminal is connected to pin 11, and the negative terminal goes to ground. You've probably understood the password setup by now. All right, let's enter it and see how it goes. Wow, the relay is now on. Let's try entering a wrong password and see what happens. Hmm, which password should I try? All right, you can slow down and check the coding I've used. All right, let's power off the Arduino. I've checked the motor supply and connected it to the relay module in series. Now, let's test the whole setup with a high power AC motor. So, how did you find our project? If you liked it, a thumbs up would be great, and sharing it would be even better. Thank <laughs> you.